<laughs> We've had a delivery. It's a toilet. Special toilet for special people. Very exciting. I'm getting a giant house. See, I'm not quite as excited as I could be because we didn't get the glare of it. Yeah. To save money. We've got a urine. Separator, exactly. Sit on the toilet. Poo poo's go in here. Pee pee's go in here. And when you're not using the toilet, you can hide the poo poo's. <laughs> okay. I did plan on getting a glitter one because Strumpet and Trollop will actually do. I think they'll do any design, won't they? They've got like glittery ones and stuff, but because we're on a bit of a tight budget and it's only us that will really see it. <laughs> I was excited about, because there's a, like a gla uh, like a space one, isn't yeah. there? And I was excited about uh, doing a turd into space, but... So this is the container for the wee wees. And Strumpet and Trollop do two. This is a smaller one, isn't it? Yeah, 4.4 yeah. litre that one is. So it's a lot of wee. So sit in there like that. And then we might have to paint it because you're going to be walking around like carrying them. Yeah, it'd be better being black, wouldn't it? <laughs> My friend Harry but, calls it the walk of shame going to empty your toilet. <laughs> and here's the poo box. Wow, that's a lot of poo. <laughs> in here and then you cover it over with like some sawdust or hemp or other substrate and yeah it just kind of composts down so that your poo becomes useful eventually if you treat it properly and eat it properly. You can just put it on the garden after about a year but we won't yeah, for more information, Nemi, this lovely lady here, has written a really interesting... If you're interested in your poop, I would recommend a read. It's on our blog, we'll put the link below. Uh, it, it generally, this is not like to get you to go to our blog. It's, it is interesting <laughs> and it'll tell you why we've kind of gone for compost. Because our issue with compost, well, everyone's in a van, is what do they do with it? So obviously it, everything goes in there, it does the composty stuff. But then what happens? So you'll be able to find out what happens. And we're still a bit stuck on what to do with it. I mean, the best thing is dig a big hole and chuck it in because it will go down. Or find places where you can dump the compost. But Yeah. Yeah. So that's something we're kind of we're passionate about. Passionate about our poops. <laughs> we genuinely are. So, Strumpet and Trollop, we just bought some components. Like bits of kit, um, whereas they make like whole whole toilets if you want them, and they can custom paint them and like all said, make that all glittery and pretty. And yeah, they can make a kind of bigger toilet, which is called the floozy, or a smaller one, which has got the smaller urine container, called the little floozy. Um, How big is the other urine container? 10 litres. 10 litres of wee? 10 litres of wee. But it was too, it would have been too wide for our toilet that we're making because we're doing it ourselves. Mix it with water and feed it to plants because plants like nitrates. There you yeah. go. Is that off the <laughs> post? Yeah. <laughs> That's like a really cheeky little plug to our post, that is. <laughs> Your waste doesn't have to be wasteful. It can be useful. So that's it. That's basically it, isn't it? Now what we've done is it's going to live in there. But because we wanted to get on with the build before it arrived, we've measured it 
and made a box so we don't even know this well it's gonna fit isn't it yeah it's gotta fit but yeah like Nem said they they make a toilet box for this this goes in so what we've done is just order the components and that's our toilet box that we've made as fits our van a bit better that's all <laughs> lovely lovely toilet that's the top lid and then this bit is going to go so I've put like um, a draft <laughs> a draft proof seal around the toilet I'm laughing just because if you go to the toilet we put a draft proof seal on it it's what we use for the windows and the door but so that's going to go there now we've got to cut a hole for that to sit into so then Solid hub, which will go there. The wee wee one, which will go there. And then we've made space so the lid, the lid can go there. And that lid can just go there. We'd have to put a bit of wood up around these just to keep them in place, but we can do that. I'm just going to check the measurement of our box. So it's it's four twenty millimeters. Sorry, yes, 420 millimetres by 460. I will check the strumpet and trollop measurements because they do, when you buy a kit like this, they tell you the internal box dimensions. I'm sure that they're the dimensions, but we'll check. If, it, if they are, it's a little bit too big, if I'm honest, because it can, it can sit there, so it can be like 50 mil lower than it's recommended. So yes, that's where it's gonna go. And you've got quite a bit of room to play with, actually, with that, because that's the width there. So obviously with that, you can sort of go anywhere. If I measure to the front, 
and then we can put it on there, can't we? Is that about right there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So it's 450 from the front. Um, just over 450. So that's the front of that. Now what we're doing, we're going to cut out the internal side. So what will happen is then we will stick this underneath. So it will be like that. Oh, I can get me pen get a pencil in there. Mark it. How's that look? Like a work of art. Like a work of fart. <laughs> uh, can enter through the uh, the turd hole. That's amazing. <laughs> That's so easy to do though, because otherwise it'd be a nightmare. Ta-da! There we go. Let's just colour that bit in. So we cut round that bit, sand it, make it nice, and then this bit, we, I think we're just going to glue it. To be honest, we've got some sicker flex, which is holding our window on. So if it can hold the window on, it can hold a piece of plastic to a bit of wood. Let's cut her out. We had a slight change of plan and moved it back a bit, so we've we've made a mess. <laughs> yeah, it was quite a bit far forward, so we've moved it back a little bit. doing it's cutting it and then dropping that in and then obviously that seals it but we've got the room to go underneath with ours and then stick it in so we just need to sand that bit put another coat of paint on and stuff and we have a, a loo that matches our door <laughs> <laughs> this bit doesn't really need painting because it's supposed to be underneath and then we'll glue it and stick her on and like you said before, it beats having a collapsible, collapsible bucket. <laughs> we feel like grown ups. We've got like a proper fixed toilet now. An environmentally friendly fixed toilet. <laughs> So here we are then, we've left it to dry overnight and it's gone off lovely. So we put loads of, can't even see it, clear silicone round and give it a look. You see it made a little bit of a mess on the edge there but we'll rub that down and put another coat of paint on this before we start using it. But yeah, there we go. So just some clear silicone, I really like rubbed it in the edges there and then all up this edge so let's go fit it in the van so here's the finished product then guys um, it's actually 18 months since we built the toilet and this this whole section here so yeah just thought to show you the finished product and how it's all holding up so 
what we did initially we fixed this down and we were having some storage like underneath um, because of baby moo obviously she could get to everything so we closed this off here and then we've done some decoupage and then we've actually made this so it opens so we've got two hinges on the back this opens up and we've just got a bit of a bit of bungee and then and a screw on the back if I can do it one-handed just to hold it open and then we've got storage cupboard so yeah, there's our storage cupboard. Um, the reason why this holes, we don't have a massive mouse. Um, we drilled it just to, for ventilation because all this was closed in originally. And once we put our stuff in, we thought, oh, it's gonna, could create some damp. So we ended up just installing it and then cutting some holes out just to add a bit of airflow. Then under here is um, our underfloor heating and hot water system, which has spilled over from this cupboard. So we've actually got a bit in there. Which is quite good because when it's on full blast this cupboard gets quite warm actually which is nice save things getting damp and things like that um so that's quite good down and then the toilet itself so it lifts up like that we've got like a little lock on it which keeps it up which is nice and then there's the toilet so the main difference obviously it's painted white um the paint we had originally was fine um, but we had some leftover paint when we were doing some other paint and we thought I oh, will just give it another coat of paint This compartment here is where we keep all of our sawdust and stuff. So we've got all this Substrate for the solids so the solids now I do warn you. There's no wheat and poop in here um, It's all emptied all cleaned and everything. I'll just show you what we've got So obviously we take this off to do our business and then you can see we've got already got some sawdust and um, substrate in there ready we've got this section which we made to keep a toilet roll so we can keep like four toilet rolls in there which is good so obviously everything once you open the the loo lid everything's in there you need get to the actual wheat and poop containers you lift that up so we've got the wee one there um, that's just a bit of water what we put in there and then that's the poop one in a bag and it works really well um, we haven't actually got anything holding this up, so we just wedge a toilet roll in, which keeps it up, which is fine. And to keep the urine container in, you can see there we've just got, just move the lid. We've got just some bits of wood, which we fix around, and this, it, look, it wobbles a lot there, but when we drive, it doesn't go anywhere. And we've accidentally driven when this is very nearly full as well, without just not thinking about it. And it's not spilled, which is really good. Um, the other thing we installed, which was not in the actual video, is you can see there, that black thing, that's a 75 mil like gas dropout vent. So we've got a vent there, and we've also got, which you can probably hear, is a little fan. See this little black thing? That's a little 12 volt PC fan. So what happens, obviously this is sealed, we've got the seal on there. So once this is shut, that's sealed, and then there's a seal on the lid. So that seals onto this part here. So then when that fan's on, it draws air through that vent and it goes up and through there. And it actually works really well. Sometimes we open this with a full solid and we, we's the worst. Solids isn't actually too bad. The we's quite bad if you leave it there for a while. And it's not bad at all because all the smells just pull through and it, it helps to dry out the solids as well. Um, but I'm gonna show you install and everything about that fan in another video. So the way it's all built and everything means we don't actually need like a proper toilet seat. We just sit on here. Um, and this is like exterior white paint. So it wipes clean if there's any, you know, muck or splashes or anything like that. So we keep this really clean. And then obviously this is all wipeable. All inside as well is all like perspex. So that's all wipeable. If there's any spillages, which sometimes there are, that's all wipeable. So let's just shut that down. And then you can see on the back, oh, we had some thick bits, wide bits of pallet wood that we just put around the edges. We just finished it off, lovely. So that's how it finishes up with the cushions. So we've cut the cushion into two. So obviously if we need to get under this one, we can just, that'll just lift up. We can get underneath or take the cushion off. And then to go to the toilet, we just lift that one up shift that out of the way and then that'll lift up then 
and we can do it that way. If you're interested on the measurements or anything like that, I'll put all the measurements in the description below. So what we'll do is measure the whole thing and then just the actual toilet side as well and the internals of the toilet so you know if you are building one, the size it needs to be. So yeah, all that will be in the description below. And thanks for watching. Today is fridge frame day. There she is in all her glory. Okay, so I've done some stuff. Let me show you the stuff that I've done. And so there we are then. Fridge is in. So that's done.